Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing some Three Musketeers on top ladder. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I can just go for the rage there on that goblin barrel. And I'm going to go for my pump. Three Musketeers is really good right now. The player who is number two in the world is currently playing Three Musketeers. So I'm going to try to play some Three Musketeers. I'll go for my hunter here on the minion horde. I know this guy plays a minor bait deck. I'll go for my knight on top of those wall breakers. Try to deny at least one of them, maybe. Nice. Okay, not bad. He has to defend that knight still, which is pretty good. It will get some nice chip damage. The annoying part about this matchup is that I don't really have anything good for the goblin barrel. But it's okay. The rage is nice against minion horde and skeleton army. I'll just roll a ghost in the back. See what he wants to do here. I'll probably just go for defense. Wait, I'm going to ignore that goblin barrel and just three musketeers to bridge. Then I'm going to have my rage ready to rage whatever he plays. I'm going to have my rage ready. I'm just going to pre-rage. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. Wait, look at the three musketeers. They're raged up. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. One more, one more. <laughs> Yo, that was such a good push. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I'm just going to go for my bandit here on top of that princess. That was such a good push right there. <laughs> Killed his entire... Oh, wait, I'm going to knight here. Oh, I messed up that knight, but it took his entire tower right there. That was really, really clean. We take those. Very, very good. I'm going to go for my hunter here on top of that barrel. Okay, yeah, no hits there. If you do the hunter like that, you'll never take any barrel damage. The problem is, is that he's going to go minor minion horde, and I really don't have a good cycle for it. Okay. I'm just gonna go for my battle ram all the way up top and then i'm just gonna wait to play my rage as late as possible those barbs are gonna distract for a while i'll rage i'm gonna wait though until the last second okay he ganged i'm gonna ghost and then i'll rage i want to take too much damage you have very nice rage there i barely live with the tower i'm gonna ban it for the wall breakers i do not want to lose my tower the only problem is is that he can just go goblin barrel minor and pretty much get the entire tower back that's the thing i can't really do anything about that okay he goes for the barbs i'll go for my evil knight oh no the princess locked on Okay, I'm going to Hunter here, and then I'm going to go for my Ghost on top of the barrel. Wait, why is it on the back goblin? Why is it on the right? Dude, it usually goes left, right, back. What? Okay, I'm going to Battle Ram the bridge here. I need to try to get some chip damage on the tower. He has to arrows. I'm going to Bandit here. Okay, I'm going to Rage on the minion horde and make sure to get the Battle Ram connect. Perfect. Okay, wait, one hit, two hits, two hits? I only got one hit, but it's okay. I'm going to Hunter here on top of the wall breaker. Oh, no, I finger slipped. No. I'm going to Knight here just to make him have to arrows or have to Miner. One of the two. Okay, he goes for the barbs. He wants to get to the Evo barbs. Okay, I'm going to ghost here and then I'll band it as well. I should only take one goblin barrel stab. Yeah, only one barrel stab and just a minor chip. Wait, I can go for that battle ram here. Actually, I'm going to three musketeers in the middle and then instantly rage them. Just immediately. How does he defend this? His elixir bar is so low. Rage. Yep, muskies on tower. GG's. Let's go. What a nice win right there. <laughs> I'm in the next match here against this guy. Just going to go for my band at the back. This guy usually plays with log bait and e giant balloon kind of a weird two deck combo to switch between but those are his two main decks i've noticed i'm just gonna pump up right away oh he actually has the e giant this time i'm gonna have to go for my knight plus hunter combo on that e giant it's not really gonna die i'm just gonna go for my ghost here on top of that bomber and knight want to try to dps that done oh no way that hunter's alive on one hp yo this guy is so mad i'm gonna bandit here as well he can't activate King off that ghost because of the bandit. That's kind of why I did it in the first place. Oh, bad goblins. Wait, I'm going to battle around the right immediately. I should get some pretty good damage here on both lanes. Yeah, he just says well played. That's going to be some nice damage. He goes for the knight, but that's still good chip. Get a quick 800 damage right there. I'm just going to go for another pump here. I already have two pumps up. The thing is, he has E-Giant NATO Fireball Bomber, so I don't have any idea how I'm supposed to break through or defend. Like... Breaking through, maybe, but defending, like, he just goes E-Giant, he fireballs my mus my muskies, and then he just goes balloon, like, he just goes E-Giant the back. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my three musketeers here. Just gonna do one to the E-Giant, so he has to defend on the right side instead of going all in with the E-Giant loon fireball push. Just need to make sure to keep pressuring. I'm gonna go for my ghost here on the E-Giant. He still has to defend the right. Gonna have to waste, like, a phoenix or an evo knight. Okay, not evil knight, but just a knight. Okay, that E-Giant's dead, though. I'm going to battle ram here on the left, and that musketeer is going to go in on the right side lane. Looking pretty good right now. I got some nice musketeer chip on the right. Very nice damage. I can just pump up again, since he did have to waste his fireball on defense. Okay, that was awful. That was awful. Just going to go for my evil knight here on this, and then I can go for my bandit on top of his bomber. That was just awful. I don't know why he did that. He's going to have to defend this bandit and the 
maybe the evil knight i'm gonna ghost the bridge here and then i'm gonna quickly hunter and then battle ram right in front of it last second i don't, I don't even need to i don't even need to i'm just gonna pump up again he nados i'm gonna battle ram in front of the hunter now just because i know he can't goblins oh baddie giant he has to fireball i'm gonna go for my knight here and then i'm gonna go for my ghost didn't want to three musketeers there just because he could nato it all in Maybe it would have been fine, but I don't know. I like that better. Just going to go for my band at the bridge here. Try to force out his goblins, and then I'm just going to pump up again. Okay, I forced out a knight, which is fine as well. Not really the greatest knight. I know he's just trying to cycle his evo, though. I have to be careful. Okay, I'm going to battle ram the bridge to block, and then I'm going to hunter on defense. A really bad balloon by him. This should be a good game right here as long as I attack properly. I'll knight to protect my hunter. That knight's going to counter push as well. I'm going to do a three musketeers in the middle here. I have three pumps down. There's no way I don't break through. I'm going to go for my ghost on the right. Wait, he messed up his NATO. I'm going to battle him. Okay, I'm going to go for my bandit here on the left. He has to fireball the right, and then I can evil knight on the left. Now I'm going to evil knight the right. And then I'm going to go for the rage on the left, try to finish off. Let's go. GG's. Very nice win there. I don't know how that guy lost that matchup. <laughs> what is that guy doing? I'm against Warlord Zex. I'm just going to go for my bandit in the back here. Try to figure out what this guy's playing. He has the Executioner. Executioner is never good for Three Musketeers. I hate facing Executioner now, just because I've been playing a bit of Three Musketeers. I'll go for my Royal Ghost in the back. Three Musketeers is a lot of fun, but it gets pretty tedious facing these type of decks. I'll go for my split Three Musketeers in the back here. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm not going to Knight on the left. I feel like it would be bad for my push. I do want to go for a knight at the bridge on the left, though. I just didn't want to put it too early. Okay, he NATOs that in, but that was a bad NATO. Everything's still going to die to my Musketeers. Okay, he has a bowler, too. What is this? Maybe it could be like a weird E-Giant deck, I guess. I'll just kite the Phoenix back with the Battle Ram. Okay, nice. E-Wiz. Okay, I think it's a RG deck. No, I think it's like a weird Royal Giant deck. I'm going to go for my Bandit here on top of the bowler, and then I'm going to Ghost immediately, just so he has a... Uh, no good way of countering this bandit. Okay, yeah, I'm going to let the E-Wiz go and get one hit on my tower. That ghost is doing a ton of damage. I'll just hunter on defense here. Okay, it's actually going to get blown away. I should have put it closer to my tower. It's okay, though. I think I could just knight on his knight, and I'll get to my evil knight with that. So it's kind of it's going to work out perfect, I guess. I'll go for my knight here. I still don't know what his win condition is. I'm so confused right now. I do want to start setting up my pump, so if I don't pump, I'm going to lose the game. That's the one thing with Three Musketeers. It doesn't matter what you're against. You have to play your Elixir Collectors or you're just going to get completely destroyed just because you won't have an Elixir Advantage. And it's not hard to defend Three Musketeers when they don't have an Elixir Advantage. I'm going to pump in the middle like this because I think he has Electro Giant. Okay, never mind. I'll band it here on the Executioner. And then I can just go for my Rage on top of the Graveyard. Just wait for it to stack up a bit. I thought he had E-Giant, so I wanted to play it safe and put it there so I wouldn't get destroyed by E-Giant. I'll ghost at the bridge on the right. He did overcommit with that freeze. I think he lost. I'll battle ram too. He has to, like, bowler on the right, and then I can go in on the left. Okay, he but that was a bad he was. I'm going to knight there. That bandit was going to get a dash that, that he couldn't take, though, to be fair. I'll bandit, and then I'm going to go for hunter at the bridge. I'm going to go for my rage. I need that evil knight to die immediately. Okay, he goes for the Executioner. I'm just going to go for my Ghost. Actually, no, I'm going to Battle Ram. I think Battle Ram is better because he doesn't have e -Wiz. He freezes, but that Battle Ram is going to connect. I'm going to Ghost. I'm going to Bandit. I'm going to eat the Bowler. I'm going to just keep going in. I'm going to Knight in the middle. I just need to keep up the pressure. If I don't keep up the pressure, he could somehow make a comeback. I'll Rage up on the King Tower, try to 3-crown him here. I'll go for the Battle Ram. Nope, that's GG. Let's go. Easy 3-crown. <laughs> Give him the good game, the well played, and the thumbs up. Let's go. I'm in the next match here against this guy. This guy's a Graveyard Freeze player. He's actually pretty good at Graveyard Freeze. I feel like in this matchup, I need to spam my palms because he has no big spell to kill it. But I have to be careful because he has Bowler, Arrows, and Guards. Like some pretty nice defensive cards against me. I'll just cycle my Hunter the back. My goal here is just to get to my pump and try to pump safely. He's probably going to Graveyard to punish me, but I need to get a pump down to have a chance. Okay, I'm just going to go for my Ghost in the back opposite lane i don't want to feed the bowler any value i just want to go for my knight on top of it i think i'm gonna battle ram at the bridge too okay actually i'm gonna three musketeers split three musketeers will take care of the knight take care of the bowler i can band it on the bowler as well just to finish it off he graveyards into that okay i'm gonna band it here on top of the bowler and then i can go for my defensive rage rage is actually surprisingly good against graveyard it's just like a zap except it rages up your tower which makes your tower shoot much quicker he has to defend the left and the right Okay, he just lets the bandit go. 
No way he's going to let the Musketeer go, too. That's too much damage. Yeah, he goes for the Mega Minion there. If I battle him the bridge, he's just going to go for the Boulder. So I think it's better if I just go for my Pump, and then he doesn't have Graveyard and Cycle to punish me because he's only played two cards, the Mega Minion and the Guards. I'm just going to Pump up here. Yeah, he goes for the Arrows on the Pump. Maybe I could have put my Pump in the back corner, but I didn't want to risk him cycling back to Graveyard, so it's fine. I'll just go for my Knight in the corner here. He might go for the graveyard, but I have my ghost and my hunter, so I'm not really too worried if he tries to go in for a graveyard. It would be bad. I'll roll a ghost here on the right. You always want to put your cards in multiple lanes, especially against a deck like this where he gets a lot of value on defense. I'll go for the battle ram. The only thing is that the battle ram is tough for him. Like Outside of the guards, he has nothing cheap for battle ram. Everything else is more expensive. I think I'm going to go for the band at the back here into the bowler. And then I'm going to go for the pump. I'm going to put it like this so it's harder to graveyard. Oh, those barbs are going in. That's what I mean. The battle ram gets so much value. I'm going to high 3M here. I want to kill that bowler. Bowler is really annoying. Hopefully that can die. Oh, no. That was terrible timing. I'm going to evil knight here. Oh, no. I need to protect it. Oh, wait. Bad mega minion. I'm going to hunter here on the graveyard. Wait, that was awful. That was actually awful. Oh, he activated my king tower. I'm going to rage on defense. What is he doing? No way. Yo, that King Tower activation is going to help me out a lot. I can just go for the pump here now without even worrying. That King Tower activation is huge for me. I think if I didn't get that, I would probably lose unless he messes up on defense really bad. I'll battle ram in the back. Let's go. I'm actually so happy about that. I'm going to three Musketeers immediately as well. Okay, this is good. He has to waste his guards or maybe his Inferno Tower. Yeah, guards. I'll roll a ghost here all night over on the side and that was a bad graveyard i'm just gonna rage here he, he wants to kill that pump i'll band it on the side too to block a lot of the damage perfect okay i'm just gonna go for my hunter on top of the bowler no that's gonna chip my tower oh no it, it missed it missed okay i'm gonna battle ram at the bridge that musketeer on the right is going in i'm gonna go for my ghost immediately as well just want to keep up the pressure nice 1261 hp i need to keep pumping up though if i stop pumping up i'll lose i need to 3m first though to make it safe to pump like three musketeers would just clog both lanes so he can't really go in too well okay i'm gonna bandit here on top of that okay that was a bad freeze i'm gonna i'm not gonna rage i'm gonna knight and then i'm gonna rage okay he's probably gonna set up another bowler here on the right side so i'm gonna battle ram on the left make him choose where to bowler he's gonna probably bowler the left so i'm gonna ghost on the right yep perfect okay i'm gonna bandit here to snipe that evil knight to kill it quicker my muskies are dead, but it's okay. I'm going to go for my evil knight, the bridge. He has no evil knight and no bowler. Wait, he has no guards, too. He just used all of his ground cards besides Inferno. I'm going to hunter the bridge. Yo, the bandit, the bandit. Wait, he has the Inferno tower. Oh, he missed. Wait, I'm going to rage here. Uh, I'm going to try to kill the tower quicker. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I need. okay. I need to cycle two rages. I need, I need to get to two rages on the tower. There's no I'm going to break through with anything else. I'll ghost to the back here preemptively. I'm going to three musketeers right in front of my tower so he can't freeze the two towers, the ghost and the musk. I'm going to knight here for the graveyard. Okay, nice. I'm going to band it here just to block some of the skellies. I'm going to rage, and then I just need to cycle back. Wait, if I just ghost here in the back just to block the graveyard, and then I just go for a battle ram on the right, he can't go in again. He has to defend. Yup, he graveyards, but it doesn't matter. He has to defend the battle ram. Oh, and the bandit, and the bandit. Let's go. GG's. What a nice win. That king tower activation saved me too. I can't lie. Let's go. I'm in the next match here against Emery. Just going to go for my knight in the middle. This guy is a log bait player. Um... Log bait's not really the easiest matchup for this deck, just because I kind of have a hard time defending, and when he has goblins, I know this guy plays with goblins in Inferno Tower, I have a tough time breaking through as well, because he has a quick cycle, whereas with the goblin gang, his cycle's a bit slower, and rage gets more value. Rage doesn't get any value versus this version of log bait, whereas the goblin gang, you get quite a bit of value. That bandit did a nice job over there on the left. I'm going to battle him immediately. Okay, wait, this is good. He has the goblins, okay. I'm fine with that. Actually, maybe that wasn't good. Maybe it was just okay. It's all right, though. Okay, I said good, okay, and all right. <laughs> I, I, I need to control myself. I'll go for my ghost in the back here. That goblin will get a hit on my tower, but I want to get to my evil knight and start pumping up as much as possible. But with the goblins, it's a bit hard to outcycle him. Okay, he goes for the knight, too. I'm just going to pump up right away as well. I'm fine with this. He's probably going to rock it again, if I had to guess. Yep, he just rockets again. Hmm, I don't know how to win when he has uh, the goblins version with the goblin gang version i have a much easier time i feel like rage gets so much value it's more expensive their cycle slower just seems much better in general i'm gonna battle him here on the left too though he's gonna have to inferno tower i think okay he goes goblins never mind he's gonna evo knight on the left he just got to evo knight yep exactly okay i do need to be careful here though because i am down a bit of elixir not down on elixir but he has the knight down which technically makes me down because i'm gonna have to overspend here i'll go for my ghost in the back 
just in case he wants to barrel. And then I can go for my evil knight on top of his evil knight. Okay. I'm going to eat that barrel. This is my only chance to win. I'm going to hunter and then I'm going to go for my bandit. Nah, I lost. This is over. Dude, no. This is my only chance. I had to go for something crazy. Yeah, there's no not point to even rage. That wouldn't have done anything. I lost. I messed up. I'll battle him on the right. Try to make something happen. Oh, wait. He's really low. He has to goblin barrel on defense, right? I'm going to rage. Okay. Connect. Nice. Okay. And, that, and those goblins are dead too. I'll just go for my knight here on top of his knight. Um, I'm never going to be able to get a pump down. That's the thing. So I think I just lost. I'll try to pump now. But if he just rockets it, there's no chance I have to win. Okay, he goes for the goblins and the knight. He's just going to barrel too. I'll have my hunter ready. Okay, very nice ghost right there. Ghost is so good. He's going to goblin barrel rocket. What do I even do? I'm going to hunter. Okay, wait, he didn't rocket. He princesses the bridge. I'm going to knight here. Okay, interesting princess to bridge. I'm going to pump up again, I think. If I go in right now, it's not going to do anything. He already has a princess down, so I just need to keep pumping up here. He's back to the evil knight, though. This is scary. Okay, yeah, he evil knights the bridge. I'll just go for my battle ram, then ghost here, and then I'll go for my bandit. That shouldn't get too much damage. Wait, no, no, the, the ghost went for the wrong goblin. Wait, why is the princess on tower? Wait, I just lost. Why is the princess on tower? Yeah, that's game. No. I'm going to hide three musketeers in the middle. Then I'm going to go for the battle ram as soon as I can. I need the battle ram immediately. Oh, that's game. That barrel is going to take. I'll rage. He, he, he can defend this anyway. He can sack damage on the left and the right a bit. He logs. Yeah, GG's. That's game. He played it well. I could have played that better. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.